<laughs> Aloha everyone. Whoa. Okay, here we go. We're gonna pass the We're gonna go a different route today. Huh, Buick Riata, haven't seen one of those in a while. Okay, so remember um a few weeks back one of my friends um Alan came over from California from San Jose to come back and visit his dad and I loaned him my car. Yeah, he's the guy that he's one of the guys that just bought a sports car. It was his birthday and he treated himself. That's what happens when you get to a certain age and you got lots of money, so <laughs> you start buying stupid stuff. Well, I guess that happens. I guess you don't have to be a certain age. You just start buying stupid stuff whenever you have, um, whenever you have money. So, so um, anyway, anyway, um, he just bought a he just bought a Porsche. I forget some limited edition thing where it was worth. It was just a lot of money. So. But anyway, uh, uh, what I wanted to say was, when when uh, Alan had always been into sports cars, and he had purchased a he had purchased a RX-7, and it, you know it's a rotary engine, and he had it popped up with twin turbos, and I mean he had this this thing on steroids. It, he it, I think it was originally in the 40s or the 4,000 or whatever. It's a limited edition, and he had he had put in um, he put in I think a good 15,000 into it, top it up, twin turboed it, rims, sound systems, tuning, muffler, the works, and then um, oh, and then he drove it for a few years, and he had logged about a hundred thousand miles on it. And, you know, I, I got to see the car, but I never got to ride it because he had always been modifying it and always throwing money into it. So very recently he put in, he put in like another 12,000 into the car. Okay, so, okay, okay, so, um, not to bore you with the details, but the, the deal, the deal with that was, you know, it's, it was like his baby, his little, um, it's like his girlfriend actually. So, um, and and it really was one of these Ferrari killers. He he could he could he could outpace a lot of sports cars because um because because of how hopped up and modified it was. So there's this big ride, right? There's this big R7 ride where a whole bunch of RX7s get together in a big caravan, like. I think it was 50, 50, car, 50 to 60 cars, whatever it was, and they went through, they went through, uh, I forget where, from, from what the run was, they are going south down to LA from, from San Jose along the coast, and um, his car caught on fire. Yeah, the, there's some, was, they suspect it was a kinked fuel line and like during during maintenance it had been scuffed or kicked and it broke so so here's Alan's car right his little baby on fire and it it, it he has he takes out the fire extinguisher and he empties it but he doesn't get to put it out and the fire just continues and grows and grows finally it engulfs the whole car it melts his rims, it melts his, the glass, it warps, it just, it just takes the whole car, it's gone. The car is gone, right? And amongst the ARC-7 riders in the Bay Area, you know, Alan's a pretty charismatic guy and, and he has a lot of friends. So everybody pretty much knows him or has heard of him or has raced him, okay? Um, so they know about the car and about Alan. And so, so a lot of photos were put up online, okay, and, and and, 
and um, one of our friends, or one of actually one of his friends, he decided, you know what, he's he's gonna um, he's gonna Photoshop the thing. So he, so amongst the gallery of photos, he took uh, he took a little Godzilla picture and put it up in the photo and had Godzilla um, torch it with you know how Godzilla sits flames out of his mouth okay so and it was well done too it looked it looked pretty good I mean this well of course this guy was a he was a graphics professional right that's what he does for a living and um, and so so you know we all had a good laugh okay you know turn um turn a lemon to lemonade right okay so so we all have a good laugh and funny thing about that is you know everybody's yucking it up but um just recently it got spotted by i think i i, I it ended up being in being in the magazine the january the, the full graph of godzilla torching his car ended up being in car and driver magazine january january uh 2007 and it made the 10 best 10 best list i think it's on page 70 but Anyway, I thought that was really funny that, you know, his, uh, his photo made, made national coverage. Yeah, go see it. Go see it if you guys get a chance or search for, search for it, um, on the RX-7 forums. And, and you'll see the, you'll see the Godzilla photo. Shoot, if I dig it up, I'll, I'll try to probably, I'll try to Photoshop, I'll try to, um, see what I can do by photo editing it into the into the video my video has my adobe my adobe elements uh premier elements i think it's on the last leg it's on the last day so i'm gonna have to buy it or do something else with it. i'm starting to like adobe elements much 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 more than pinnacle i think pinnacle is like so much harder to use and uh Elements Elements has its problems as far as as far as if you if you uh, put together multiple clips there's a there's a lag after it compiles it, there's a there's a there's a there's a lag between the sound and the video and and I think once you upload it to YouTube it compiles to flash and then it really becomes a lag so maybe I should compile it to flash video and then upload it to YouTube. I don't know. We'll see.